Jeremy Corbyn's in Liverpool to rally support for his campaign to carry on as Labour's leader. He follows hard on the heels of rival Owen Smith, who was there on Saturday. Mr Corbyn is urging the government to call a general election as soon as possible. I spoke to him a short time ago and I asked him what made him think Labour would win. Because we oppose the government's austerity policies, because we're offering a much more equal society, because we're offering hope and opportunity for young people. Today, today is the day, by the way, which young people have lost all access to university grants. And yet two recent polls show that the gap between Labour and the Conservatives is widening. You're further behind now than you were at the time of the 2010 election. We're going to close that gap. This leadership election will be over in September and the gap will close. The campaign will become very intense after that on the kind of alternative that Labour can offer the people of this country. An alternative of decent education, an alternative of not privatising our NHS, but above all, an alternative of economic expansion with better quality jobs for all and better rights at work. David Cameron's resignation honours have attracted a bit of controversy. They've not actually been announced yet, but a leak has uh, suggested some of the names. Uh, um, and there's been some suggestion of cronyism from members of your own party. Is it time to scrap the honours system? Well, I think it's time to have an honours system that is democratic. And I also think that serving politicians should not be given any honours at all. It's an honour enough to be elected to Parliament or to a local authority. We should be proud of that. Democratic? You mean ordinary people should have a vote as they would in an election? Ordinary people should have a, a say in who is nominated, put names forward, put forward ideas, because a lot of people make a huge contribution to all of our lives. They help in lots and lots of ways. They're the people that should be honoured, not those that already hold public office. You've won the support today of the union that represents uh, post office workers. You'd like to renationalise Royal Mail, wouldn't you? And the energy companies and the railways. What's it all going to cost? Well, the public ownership of the railways will be straightforward as and when the train operating companies contracts end. That will be important to do that. Royal Mail is a natural monopoly, should not be subject to competition by other companies, should be publicly run and publicly owned. That is surely the basis of having an efficient mail service in the whole country. It's said that you don't drink much, you don't spend much and you don't eat meat. Do you have any vices? Oh, I don't know. Um, can I think about that one? I'll get, I'll get back to you on that one. I try not to be vice ridden in my life. All right, Mr. Corbyn, thank you for joining us. Thousands of people have attended a rally in Liverpool this evening in support of the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn. He follows hard on the heels of rival Owen Smith, who was there on Saturday. Mr. Corbyn said he was honoured to see so much support. Alex Worsick reports. Line Street came to a standstill, thousands packed onto St George's Plateau, waiting patiently in the rain for the man they see as the next Prime Minister. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn turned down a televised debate with leadership contender Owen Smith to be in Liverpool tonight, and he's been rewarded. His supporters have turned out in force. That brilliant wit is what this city is all about. But it's also about determination to live in a different world, a better society, where the poor are not consigned to the gutter and forgotten, but everyone is included and cared for. I think he represents the majority of the working class people, and I'm here just to show my support for them. In the area where I live, 30,000 children are living in poverty. Nobody but Ireland, nobody's really concerned he is. Are you worried that what's going on in the Labour Party will, will damage the party and damage Jeremy Corbyn's chances? Well, yes, but I don't think it's the fault of Jeremy Corbyn or his supporters. Jeremy Corbyn's faced criticism from his own Labour MPs. 172 supported a vote of no confidence, but he insists he's still the right man to lead the Labour Party and challenge the Conservatives. This leadership election will be over in September and the gap will close. The campaign will become very intense after that on the kind of alternative that Labour can offer the people of this country. Jeremy Corbyn promised the rally a fairer society for all, more investment for the North West. And he thanked Liverpool for providing the biggest crowd of the leadership campaign so far. Alex Worsick, BBC North West tonight in Liverpool.